right, what's up, J4K? I am sorry about the drama. I just went live a second ago and deleted it. Um, but I'm back. I thought, don't worry about it. Um, so anyways, I, um, I wanted to do this and um, talk to you all about Kanika's new lawyer, Jeffrey. And the reason I want to talk about Jeffrey is because people are already putting um, videos up um, saying Jeffrey doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to lose the case and um, his theory's wrong and all this drama about Jeffrey. I had recorded a video, but my memory didn't, it cut me off right when it got good. It was so fucked up. So that's why I'm going live. Not necessarily to talk to you guys tonight because I'm still at work. Um, but I really want to get this out there about Kanika's new lawyer. Okay. Hey. So um, the first thing that you should know is um, Jeffrey is a major figure in the legal world. Okay. He's not a small guy. Okay. He is a clout chaser. However, he's had clout for a very, very long time now, okay? Jeffrey's been getting press for the last 20 or 30 years, okay? He's rich. He's super rich. He's 1% rich. He's getting a mansion, luxury hotel, blah, blah, blah in the Caribbean, okay? He would not take this case if he didn't know that he was going to win, okay? So let's just get a little bit into his background. He is the son of a Harvard educated civil rights attorney and teacher union organizer. Okay, that's the background that he comes from. So um, he's uh, not hard up for cash. He doesn't have and he's not trying to make a name in the legal world. He's He doesn't need this to be on the scene. He's already been on the scene, okay? His parents were on the scene, okay? So he's grown up um, in this world. He knows who's who as far as who all the higher ups are. And he's the perfect person to go at Rosemont for these very reasons, okay? Um, now, he um, <clears throat> he's a hardcore Democrat, okay? He's been trolling Republicans for the last 20 years, okay? Um, there's an article, and I'm going to drop all the links of the different things that I've read so that you guys can get into this guy, okay? Now, there's an article from 2000 where um, George Bush dropped out of the race, and he said in his concession speech that um, this lawyer Jeffrey was putting out attack ads calling George Bush and his running mate dumb and dumber. Okay, so that's who Jeffrey is. Jeffrey's been quoted as calling different judges jackasses. Okay, like he's that dude. Like he's um, very, he's got a very dynamic personality. Like a lot of journalists do write ups about him. Um, and he's definitely known for confrontation and going at it with people, okay? He's gone at it with some of his partners. Um, you know, he's got even drama with other law firms. There's a law firm right now, this day, like just earlier in December, um, one of his main rivals, what Jeffrey decided to do was bring up some sexual harassment lawsuits. So he's got some girls from his rival's law firm to file this major lawsuit against this other lawyer that he doesn't like, okay? Um, so that's who Jeffrey is. He's here for the shit. He's here for the drama, okay? He's not backing down, okay? This is not, this is not a Larry Rogers situation, somebody who wants to be quiet, somebody who's gonna do everything in writing. Um, if you notice, the first thing Jeffrey did was call the press conference, okay? Um, he's he's here for for the for the lights okay um and i'm not i'm not mad at him at all because we do need that type of attention okay so i'm very glad um about that so he's a son of a harvard um educated civil rights lawyer um his legal career 
Um, I think skyrocketed when he um, was Dr. Kevorkian's lawyer. Dr. Kevorkian was a major thing back when we were probably kids. He was the doctor that did the patient assisted suicides, okay? Um, so ever since that case, he's just been known to take on these high profile cases. He's um, also filed a lawsuit against a hospital near Flint, Michigan for not addressing the Legionnaire's disease when they had the water crisis, okay? So he's used to going at it with big companies and things like that. So I don't think Rosemont's gonna be too much for him at all, okay? Um, what else do we know about this guy? So he definitely is gonna run for Michigan governor. He did another ad in a commercial where people um, are under the impression that he's even gonna run for the president of the United States of America pretty soon. And if he wins this case, I will vote for him. I, I will make phone calls, I will knock on doors, I will make sure that he wins um, that presidency seat. Um, so what what I what I wanted, okay, so people are saying, oh, Jeffrey's putting out the wrong picture, he's got the wrong theory, et cetera, et cetera. What he said in this press conference, and 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 trust me, like after you read everything about Jeffrey, you're gonna you're gonna get a better picture of who he is. He's way smarter than all of us put together when it comes to this legal stuff, okay? He knows what he's doing, okay? Don't believe any YouTubers that are just putting out all this bullshit about Jeffrey and he's going to lose and he's this and he's not putting up the right picture, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Let me tell you, Jeffrey's very strategic. I Okay, he would not take this case for no reason. A man running for president of the United States of America soon doesn't have time for this shit. Okay, he's not take it. Think, he's not taking this case to take down a fucking hotel security guard. Use your brain. This rich ass fucking man is not coming for Irene and Monifa. Okay, he's taking this case because he's going to take down Rosemont the village of Rosemont, he's going after the FBI. That's the level that he's on. That's what attracted him to this case. He's not taking this case to take down the hotel guy. He doesn't need $50 million. That's not even gonna be his money. He doesn't need it, okay? He is going to expose the corruption in this case. That's why he took this case. I'm very intuitive. I believe that this lawyer, Jeffrey, has probably been J4K since day one. He's probably sat back and looked, seen the bullshit that was happening, realized nobody was gonna do anything. This is in his backyard, okay? And he, he decided enough is enough. Okay, Jeffrey is already in a major legal battle against his rival. So just imagine in the middle of him fighting it out with this dude, he said, wait a minute, I gotta make time for this, this right here too. Okay, now, <clears throat> trust me, it's not the money. We didn't raise money for him. Did you raise money for him? I didn't, I'm J4K. So we didn't raise money for him, there's no money for him. He's doing this because he sees something. He sees something, he sees a goal. This is a strategic man, this is not a fucking dummy. This is not a fucking amateur detective, this is not a little lawyer trying to make a name for himself. Okay, he sees something. What he sees is the corruption in the government. That's what he's attracted to. Read his articles, he trolls these fucking Republicans. He knows who's running the feds right now. He knows who's running things. He knows how this got covered up, okay? That's why in this beginning press conference, the first thing he wants to lay out on the table is, Kanika was locked in the freezer. Now he started with that 
because that's the one question he knows Rosemont cannot answer. I showed you all of their press releases lined up. None of the press releases could they ever tell you why Kanika couldn't get out the freezer. He's gonna start there. That's gonna unravel everything. Everything's gonna come out from that point right there. He's not beating around the bush. He's not what time or this video or that happened or that. He's, y'all locked her in the freezer. And what Rosemont is gonna have to do, they're gonna have to go into court and they're gonna have to defend themselves. He knows they can't do it. He's seen everything. He knows they have no defense. They have no evidence because, because let me tell you why. The evidence that they have that tells the truth about what happened to Kanika in that freezer is the evidence they're withholding. So to defend themselves and to prove that their employees didn't lock her in the freezer, they would have to present that evidence in court. He knows that. He got him. He already got him. He got him. All right. Um, so <clears throat> I think that, um, you know, anytime you're about to fight or anytime you're going into war, you got to decide in the beginning whose side you're on. You can't wait till one person gets scratched or one person saying something about this person to be like, double-minded and teeter-tottering on maybe this, maybe that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have to stand behind Jeffrey. Jeffrey is our greatest hope right now. I mean, he couldn't have come at a better time. I think that, you know, we should definitely write to him, email him, make sure that he has everything that he needs to do his to do the best that he needs to do. Um, we need to be mindful and understand that he's about to go against the United States government, okay? Now, this is very exciting for him. He's done this before. This clearly is his thrill. This is what he lives for. So, you know, we don't need to be his bodyguards or anything, but we need to have his back because you know how they are. They will smear him. They will say he fucked a child. They will say he messed with a dog. They will, they, will, they will say he's a racist. He's this, he's that, blah, blah, blah. They will try to dig up everything that they can on this man. You know what I'm saying? You already see, I mean, he did a press conference for like five minutes. People are already doing YouTube videos, hour long, hour long about him. Oh, he, the, the picture, this and that, he messed with blah, 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 blah. There's, that's the right picture. The fuck is wrong with you? That's the right picture. There's a freezer door that you can see from the kitchen. You go into that door and it's a cooler. You turn to the left and then there's another door. That's the actual area she was found in. That's the freezer, freezer part. That's where that little switch. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with people? But they're going to come out. They're going to try to say all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just saying, educate yourself on who this man is. And, um, you know, don't listen to these people talking bad about him. This is not a Larry Rogers situation. I don't know what happened to Larry. God bless him. You know, maybe it was too much for him. I mean, this is too much for any person. Um, I just think that from looking at Jeffrey's background, He's more of a fighter. He likes this. This is his alley. Um, and uh, that's all I really wanted to say. I just I just was kind of thrown off about these videos about the press conference and they're trying to already spread confusion and try to make it seem like Jeffrey's confused. And when you look at Jeffrey, he looks like a hippie. You know, he looks kind of like, you know, like maybe he might not be all with it. You know what I'm saying? But. Don't let the look fool you. Jeffrey is Jeffrey's the man. Jeffrey knows what the fuck he's doing. I um, have a lot of uh, faith in 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 him and and what he's gonna uncover. And you know, for the Christians and the prayer warriors, we have to pray for him. We have to pray for this man, okay? Because they're gonna try to wear his ass out. All right. And um, you know, 
he already has enemies. So they're gonna they're gonna contact them. They're gonna try to form up like fucking Power Rangers against his ass, okay? And so we just have to, you know, pray for him and and let him know that we are there for him. We are there for Teresa. We are there for the family. We are there for him. We're just like we're there for each other, you know. So that's all I want to say. This is my last video. I'm about to go home. And good night to you all. Sleep good. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.